What's up, everybody? Carolina Jackpot checking in. You know what? I just wanted to rant on something real quick. You know, it's a fact that when you are a uh, coach of any uh, major sport in a team, that especially one that's one of the Power Five conferences, college football, for example, especially college football, you are definitely going to be in the limelight. Everything that you say is going to be monitored. Every uh, interview that you give is going to be uh, you know, it's going to be broadcast all over social media, whatever forum that you can think of. Somebody's going to see it. It doesn't matter, you know, any kind of reaction. If you make a frown, people are going to make a freaking deal about it. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday, uh, Coach Muschamp, Gamecocks head football coach, uh, was asked during uh, his uh, uh, you know his press conference interview. Uh, about the situation at the University of Maryland. Uh, Coach DJ Durkin, who got put on administrative leave yesterday, uh, had some uh, some issues up there. A uh, football player died during uh, one of the workouts uh, earlier in the summer. And, uh, you know, him and some of his, uh, his coaches are being kind of uh, questioned as far as, uh, you know, what kind of techniques they're using, you know, what... Uh, you know what's really going on up there how they're treating the players and so forth and so on well dj durkin was a uh, must champs defensive coordinator at florida for several years and uh apparently the two are friends i didn't know this until i saw the interview that they're uh, really that close but uh he got really passionate and got really pissed when they asked him a question yesterday about uh that situation and uh, pretty much in, 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 in not too many words, he said, you know, that, uh, you know, an anonymous source is, uh, is basically bullshit and uh, I don't really want to talk about it. And uh, that's that. And uh, that I know DJ Durkin, he's a good uh, father, a good husband, and he cares about his players. And that's that. So he, you know, he really didn't shed in a lot of light into it, other than the fact that uh, he was passionate about sticking up for his friend. Okay, so the media gets a hold of it, and now all of a sudden, Muschamp is a sympathizer with someone who likes to abuse players. You know what? When it, when is the hatred going to stop? When's it going to stop? Why is everybody so against this man? Okay, so he was head coach at Florida, and he didn't do so great. Guess what? He was picking up behind the mess that Mr. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my God, Tim Tebow's leaving. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> that he left behind. Yeah. And then, guess what? He recruited a crap ton of players. Guess what? And a crap ton of them are in the NFL right now. And guess what? They won two SEC East Championships after he left for Coach Jim McElwain, Mr. Donkey Tooth, who y'all decided to fire after that, too. But no. Nobody wants to give him credit for nothing. But it's bull crap, man. The guy's passionate. He likes his friend. He likes his buddy. And he stuck up for him. And and he let it go in an interview that he feels that way, okay? He should have just kept his mouth shut and said, well, when he coached for me, I didn't see those kind of tendencies. Can we move on to the next question? And that would have been it. But no, he gets a little bit passionate, and all of a sudden, everybody's all over him. Everybody, they don't like Will Muschamp. They don't like you. You should just keep your mouth shut, man. You should just keep it shut. That's, that's it, and that's that. Now people are saying, we're just going to affect your recruiting. Deep, deep, deep. Yeah, it will. If their parents are snowflakes, it certainly will reflect the recruiting. It certainly will reflect the, reflect the uh, God dang it, affect the recruiting. I, I'm telling you what, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous and sad that we live in a day and age when nobody can voice their opinion. Don't you pull out in front of me. They can't, afford, they can't voice their opinion without it just being scrutinized by every Tom, Dick, and Harry in the world. And uh, there are certain people out there who, uh, you know, coach football teams, and they have uh, somebody on their team uh, that's a coach 
that uh, you know abused women back in his college days, uh, and then he allows his players to go out and tickle prostates of other players on opposing teams during the game. They receive no discipline. It's just a lot of ha ha ha. That was funny, wasn't it? Yeah, we beat your team, so that was funny, and it doesn't matter. And guess what? They're they're ready to throw a parade for this particular individual. But uh, you know what, Coach Muschamp, he loses a game to a one double A team like Georgia Southern, who. You know, going ten and two in one double A and fixing to move up to uh, FCS, and uh, you know he gets scrutinized for it. You know, it's it's ridiculous. It's double standards all across the board. I don't like it. Nobody likes it, and it's a bunch of crap. Go, Coach Boom. Go ahead, speak your opinion, but guess what? Speak it behind closed doors. There you go. Woo! Go Gamecocks.